He tarries until I come. What's that to you, Peter? Just follow me. He asked some other things for John. Greater things, mightier things than just sitting here or sitting there. And Paul, what do you want that thing to be removed? This messenger of Satan buffeted, and I prayed to the Lord three times. And the Lord said, Leave that alone. It's there for a purpose to keep you under, to humble you, so that you'll be able to get to that final land. Everything has a purpose. And so you're going to find there were things that the Lord said to those men. There might be something he's telling you, don't talk about that. Don't even cons look away from that. And let's talk on something greater, something better, something higher, something eternal that the Lord will give you. That eternal possession they give you in Jesus' name. And so we find over there that the Lord said, don't talk about that. Just that matter. Now, uh, let me show you in Numbers chapter 20. Numbers chapter 20. And here is where the Lord brought the verdict, the judgment. And he said, I'm not going to allow you to get to the land of Canaan. And don't let's be hammering that and talking about that every time. That's over. Closed is a closed issue. We're looking at Numbers chapter 20, looking at verse 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not to so sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore, ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. That's where the Lord made the judgment and the verdict. And then eventually told him, Moses, close that issue. Don't talk about it. It's a close deal, a close issue. But could he talk about other things? Of course, yes. Many other things. Look at the very next chapter, chapter 21. Chapter 21, verse 7. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses did what? To who? For who? For the people. Look at verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a furry serpent, and set it upon a pole. The point is very clear. It's only of this single, solitary, one time, one event matter. Don't talk about that. You can talk about many, many other things. What's the implication of that? Its relationship continued with the Lord. Its ministry continued with the people. The plan of God to get him to heaven, all that still continued. Just about this single matter, I'm not going to allow you to talk about that one. You can keep on talking to me about any other thing, every other thing. Numbers chapter 27. After that incident of chapter 20, Numbers 27, I'm looking at verse 5. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses. He kept on in his ministry. He could bring other causes and other concerns and other cases. He could bring them to the Lord. Just that one single matter. If you understood that in your personal life, you're not going to get discouraged. The Lord said, there are more than 100 things about life. And I'm just restricting you in this one single area. Look at the other 99 things remaining. And get happy. And rejoice. And follow after me. And keep in fellowship with me. It's only in that one single solitary thing. I'm restricting our conversation. And over here, look at verse 18. It says, in, but let's go back to verse 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Isn't that even a mighty, a greater thing than any other thing that Moses could have spoken about? If you are to compare blessing and say this one is A and this is B, and you are going to say which one is greater? Let's look at that for a moment. For Moses to get to the land of Canaan, physical, and to see the land, that's good. 
That will be the climax of everything he's been, you know, coming forth for all these 40 years. That will be wonderful. But for God to choose somebody to replace him, for God to choose somebody to lead the children of Israel and preserve all the law and the commandments and the ministry of Moses for all these years, that's greater. And so Moses now said, if I cannot talk about that small thing, just get into the land of Canaan, can I talk about something greater? All that I've labored for all these many years over the children of Israel? Somebody, just one faithful person. Because I'm going to go away, not for 40 days now. I went away for 40 days. And Aaron made the whole nation to go into idolatry. I'm looking for somebody that will take over, not only 40 days or 40 weeks or 40 months or 40 years, but for the rest of the, of the lives of the children of Israel that will keep them in everything I have taught. Let God set such a man over the children of Israel. That's a request. That's a great prayer request. And God answered that and said in verse 18, And the Lord said unto Moses, Take me Joshua, the son of Nun, a, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thine hands upon him. Why is Moses to lay his hands upon him to transfer power, to transfer anointing, to transfer unction? There is still something in the man in Moses that could be transferred onto another person that will take over the ministry. Uh, that's a greater thing. The Lord was only saying, only this one earthly request. I restrict you. Don't talk about that. You can talk about any other thing. Deuteronomy chapter 34. Deuteronomy chapter 34. I'm reading from verse 10. Uh, let's see the tribute unto this Moses. When eventually he died. In Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses. Whom, whom the Lord knew face to face. After that incident. The Lord still knew him face to face. And by the time he died. In the, the Bible says there was no other prophet. No other prophet in Israel. Before him or after him that knew the Lord face to face in all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land and in all the my, all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. Now you've seen that God told Moses not to talk about that one thing. And other people too in the Bible, there were other people that God said, they're not going to talk about one particular thing. But it was only a restriction, a limited restriction, a local restriction. Just this matter. Speak no more to me of this matter. How about all the other matters? You know, in our lives, sometimes when you're denied a little privilege, a temporary privilege. Then you yourself, you close the door against yourself in many, many other things in the rest of your life. I just say, well, since I'm not talking about this, I'm not talking about any other thing anymore. Uh huh. That's your restriction now. That's not God's restriction. Loosen up. Open up. Release yourself. Understand? There's still 99 remaining out of 100 when one channel only are being closed. When you hoping that you have been blessed with this powerful message. Our bottom, our address is at the bottom of the uh, of the screen. I believe you will join us one of this Sunday to worship together. Thank you. God bless you. Let us pray. Our mighty Father. We glorify your name and thank you, Lord, because of this powerful message. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will touch those people who are in need of salvation, those people who are in need of prosperity, those people who are in need of healing. And the power, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will give testimony because of this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Say one more time, say, oh. Oh, 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 oh.